Hey, good people. Good morning. Well, it's morning. I don't know when I posted this video, but I just got out of the bath and I'm super excited about today. It's a beautiful day and I am headed to go and look at venues for the reception. I am now into some of the stages of my wedding planning and I can't believe it. So excited. So I'm going to look at two places today. Um, Ellie B is my wedding planner. She's super dope. Love her. Um, I sang at Charmaine Broom at the Brooms wedding and um, the decor there, it was absolutely amazing. I think that was like six years ago. So shout out to my brother and sister, Tario and Charmaine. And um, I said, I want her to be my wedding planner ever since. And so I stuck with it. I looked at some other wedding planners, but I was like, nah. I think Ellie B can just totally do it. And so I called Ellie B. She was super nice, super warm, very professional, but still had like that sister twist to her. Um, so I'm really excited about it all. So today I go and meet with Jamie, who is a director. I'll put all of that of what she is, but she's an extension of Ellie. And um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Two, two venues today for the reception. I'm gonna do the wedding at the church at Gregory Manuel. Of course, that is where Jordan and I are members, and my father is our pastor, our bishop, our covering. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Jordan is working, so he said if he finishes in time, he'll stop by, so we'll see if he shows up. Um, I told mommy too, but she has a dental appointment. Everybody's busy today, so I might be rolling by myself. Just me and you. So I'm getting ready to finish my skin regimen, and um, I'm going to meet Jamie and the representatives of the venues and all that good stuff. So here we go. Love y'all. So some other things that I have going on is I just got the manuscript to the book. So excited. And um, I have my family and friends reading it with me to tell me um, some edits and things that they would want me to change about the book. So Maya just sent me her notes back. And Maya has been on this journey with me since day one. So I'm super excited about it. And um, I have some edits to do with that. And then I'm headed out actually. So I got a little bit more time because the appointments aren't until later, after, like late afternoon. So I'm getting ready to get that so excited okay as usual i got caught up wasn't paying attention to time so i'm about to get dressed and rush out try to make it on time one o'clock here we go here got my got to be glue y'all i told y'all it's the good old faithful and I'm squeezing it out like it's toothpaste. Uh-oh, she's getting weary. I'm slick them edges then. It's time for me to get my front done. Glory to God is the highest. That's the only thing about this little one little barber hair. That baby won't stay down. She curls up. I'm so mad at this bump on my face. And why do y'all encourage my ridiculousness? I love y'all. I'll keep it simple, y'all, because uh, I'm going to be feeling like all of that sometimes. I call it a day. I can't believe I'm ready. Keep our immune systems up. 
she's filling in for Ellie. Jamie, can you tell us what you do? Hi, my name is Jamie Quicker, and I am the Director of Catering and Events at the Detroit Institute of Arts. I um, also am the President of the National Association of Chamber Catering and Events for Detroit, and I'm super excited to be here. I love LED, and I'm so excited to work with one of her clients. Mm -hmm. so, and now we're getting our temperature check. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I said if we have the pre-reception out there so you have the view of the river everybody's out there and then the doors open and then all of a sudden in here this is actual dinner but it's got like the sexy lights and the beautiful decor and then they walk into the room and then that's when you see the view of the city you kind of have the best of all of Detroit right, right here um my colors are I'm still I want to do just all white like white and gold but do like off whites and stuff mm -hmm. Um, I'm like trying green to, and yeah. Yeah. Um, but I like the gold. I just don't know what okay, color dress a bridesmaid would wear if that's okay. Sorry, I could do a big, like, grassy backdrop or something, a floral backdrop with JK. Oh my goodness! Can I have high heels? Yes! Yeah. So my question for you is when you were little and you thought about your wedding, what did you picture? That's a good question. When I was little, what did I picture? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just me and a man being happily married. I love it. Family. Um, definitely family. I, I, I saw my family being here for sure. Do you mean my, like, what I will conceive or? Yes. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Children, all that good stuff. Yes. Absolutely. And I, at first, honestly, I wanted it to be at a Catholic church just because they're so pretty. Right. Um, but I don't know what changed. Uh, I don't know what changed. I want to have it at my own church. And I think it'll be beautiful. And I think the memory will be even more special because that's where I worship. Right. So, yeah. I love that. Yes. I'm asking because this is my um, oh, this is my speech where he comes up. Okay. My speech is that the wedding is the most important day of your life, and it has nothing to do with the building. It doesn't have anything to do with the dress. It's the only day in your entire life, the yes. only day that all the people you love are in one room. It right. never ever again happens that your best friends, your childhood friends, your church people, who you went yeah. to school with are all together and they're celebrating something wonderful. Yeah. So like as we look through these spaces, remember what you always envisioned and then remember that the most important thing is that everyone you love is in one room. And but what, my Nana. <laughs> Nana. She'll be with you. <laughs> oh my 
Have you thought you about anything a, you could do to put a rose on a chair? Mm -hmm. Like you know how they do it. Yeah, the I'm gonna do something. I'm a, um I am not about to cry. Okay, just having one thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how convenient these masks are. Yes, I wanted my Nana to be honored uh, with a voiceover, and I, she loved butterflies. Uh -huh. So I want to release like white butterflies in honor of her. Mm -hmm. You got something done to your mouth? Mm -hmm. You got something done to your mouth? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll, we'll talk when you can talk. I was calling to tell you about the walkthroughs. Mm -hmm. Mommy, I don't know what you saying. <laughs> It sounds like you're trying to tell me to go ahead and tell you, but I'll tell you later. Mm -hmm. So you said the cobalt is nice? She gonna now talk. Um, yes, I like that one. But uh, we did go to the Renaissance, and I don't like it for re the reception because the ceilings are so low. So, um, you like high ceilings? Yeah. Okay, did you get pictures of the building? Yes, I got videos to show you. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Okay. Then I'll I'll call you when I get out of here. All right. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Hello. Hey, babe. You still working the phone? What? Hey. How are you? What's going on? Nothing much. I was um just calling to let you know how it went. Are you done or are you still going? Yeah, we're done. But I have videos to show you. I called Mom Dolly too and um we talked, but I uh I really like Kobo. It's a lot of like revealing moments. I'll walk you through it. I just I really like Kobo. Hopefully you'll like it too. I wanted it to be in the city, right, downtown, anywhere, so I mean I feel like that's perfect. People can't if that's gonna be in the city and then you can talk about that garden theater thing, not too far. I mean, if people wanna like get a room or if people coming from out of town, be right in that same area, they don't have to drive too far or drive at all. That's all good to be the view. Uh, I trust so it's, it's all about you anyway. I just want you to be happy, that's all. Thank you, Bobby. Listen though, no, babe, I um I was about to tell you something. I forgot what it was. I was trying not to interrupt you. I forgot it. Well, I think that is it. If you if you say okay, then I'm, I'm that's perfect. Let's do it. Okay, babe. I'll call you back. Right, I'm headed to the crib. I was gonna stop at uh, what's the name of that? Salad. Um, Leo. One of them all. Um, no, thank you. I think I'm about to go to the office. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll call you right back. Well, all right. Well, that settles that, huh? All right. All right. Bye. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too, babe. Bye. All right. Hey y'all, so I think I want to go with uh, Building One and I'm super excited because I love the reveals, all of that that Jamie was like talking and explaining, I just saw it and usually I'm not, well I am a visual person, I can kind of imagine it, that's what a visionary is, 
but um the reveals the doors coming up the massive window you get the city the water the only thing i don't like is the conventional space it, it looks like a convention center but if we can drape that off and it looks like you coming in the door and you only see that one side and she said you could do like ivory draping oh that's just amazing ballet nobody has to do like super long walk so we'll see but i'm excited that's day one of wedding update we've been wedding planning but um now we just gotta lock it in we can determine if the date will actually be may 1st we gotta check everybody's availability so i'm excited thank y'all for rocking with me love you yes gonna be catching the girlies oh and i gotta check with jordan to see oh i told y'all jordan was meeting my mom and my and jordan they didn't make it um jordan couldn't make it because he was finishing work my mom she she just was all over the place bless her heart today so we'll see love y'all catching the cali Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs>